Hey everyone, Daniel Webster here from PocketNow.com, and today I'm going to show you Urban Horizon. And what this program is going to do is turn your GPS enabled phone into a GPS navigation system. And Urban Horizon works with or without a data connection, and you can store the maps directly to your storage card. So we'll just go into this. As you can see, it will check for updates, and it says up to date. And when you hear that little sound, that means that it's up to date and it will start the program. So, of course, it says do not operate while driving, but we're just going to OK. And it will give you your current position. And the cool thing about this feature is you can change between 3D and 2D. And I'll show you a little more on that when we're done. So if we want to go somewhere, let's say we just want to scroll, and we can just pick any position. We can select that position by holding down our stylus or our finger. It works. It's very finger friendly, so you can use your finger. I'm just using the stylus for demonstrational purposes. And we can either route to, clear, make it our home, or add to favorites. So if I wanted to route to this position, I can just go to there, and it will begin routing. Turn right on to so from east. here, it will start routing, and this is just the demo mode. And as you can see, it's um, here. It's actually pretty... Um, it'll tell you all the names of the roads as well as the distances. So I'm just going to stop this routing right here. And we'll go into the, some of the features. So you can select a home. So if you have a home address, you can click on that. And you need to select it on the map or um, input the address yourself. You can go to your favorites. So I have a couple favorites here, as you can see. We can route to any of these. So if I click on here, I can click View. And I can either call them. It'll save their phone number as well as give their address. You can either call them, route to, or go to. So if I wanted to go to that place, I could. Or route to that place, I can as well. So we'll just go back. We'll go into some of the um, the history. It saves all your history, so that's a very nice feature. Um, I use that feature a lot on other navigational programs, so this is a great feature to have. We can just go back. It's the same same concept as before. We can view it and just call them as well. We can also search. So it gives us a couple options. We can search for address. So if we need to type in the address, we can. It's pretty finger friendly, but not nearly as great as some other programs. We can also go to points of interest and type in a name, or we can just get coordinates. So if I needed a GPS coordinate that I want to get to, I can do that as well. And go nearby. This will give us a list of points of interest that are close to our area. So if I wanted to go shopping, I can. Look here and look for something that's pretty close. Let's say I wanted to go to the Cutting Edge Home Theater. I can do that. We can just go back. We can go into our route information. So if we wanted to continue on our route, we can do that. We can see all of our information on turn-by-turn -turn directions as well as how far we need to go straight and how close we are to our destination. We can minimize the program. So it'll just it'll still run in the background, but we can just go back into the program. And you can go into some of the settings. So we have the system settings, and we can change the time, and we can also sync with UTC, which means that it'll give us our correct time from the satellites, so like a uh, atomic time. We can change from 12-hour mode and get our sound settings. So if I wanted to make it a little bit quieter, which it is pretty loud right now, I can do that as well as mute it. I can change the display orientation. So if I wanted to change it to 90 degrees, I can do that or change it back. It'll, all, it'll go up to 270 degrees, so you can have it turned exactly this, the opposite way that you want, as well as it gives you a battery meter. And go into the advanced. We can change the labels on, if you saw on our dashboard, we had these dashboard settings, so we can change the labels from our speed to our route distance, our route ETA, and we can change our control mode, and I'll show you that in just a second. We can also show our battery meter, show GPS status, and network status, which is the little bar at the top that keeps showing what connections I have through my Wi-Fi and through um, my HSDPA connection. You can also change the structure. So we can see structures, and I'll show you that. So it says transparent or solid. I changed it to all the way solid, and I'll show you that in just a couple seconds, as well as landmarks. And I have mine set for quality opposed to speed because I just want it to look nice right now. can also change route settings. So I'm in the United States, so I wanted to change it to miles per hour. This program will work in Canada as well. 
And we can also save our GPS log. So if we wanted to retrack one of our trips, we can do that. It's pretty simple. Just hit record. A router settings. So this is how we want to change it to either fast or shortest. We can do that. You can avoid toll roads, which is a pretty nice feature because some navigational programs don't allow you to do that, which I personally do not like to pay toll roads, so I would always select that button. <laughs> and for the guidance settings, this will give you your distance as well as the, or the time. So depending on what the voice says, you can change that on here. So let's go back. And we can also go to our user information. This is our um, network settings right here, and it will also give you your registration ID and our GPS information. So if we want to see which satellites we're connected to right now. And we'll just go into the About information. And it gives you a long list of information about the program. Okay, so from here I'm actually going to go to one of my favorites. And I've selected a favorite. I'm just going to go to Broad Street. We'll go there. So here it directed us to Broad Street, which is in Seattle. It gives us our, our, the GPS position as well as a little description, but there's not too much to say about Broad Street. So just close that. And this program has one feature that I've never seen on any other program that's been released yet, and that is a 3D mapping system that actually shows you buildings as well as landmarks. So we'll just let some load here. If you can see this building right here, this is actually the Space Needle, and we can change it with our little joystick, which is very nice. So if we scroll over, we can see that it's the Space Needle. And they'll be transparent for a second until they solidify. We can turn the directional pad all the way around, so, as well as go into the atmosphere, so that's nice. We can zoom out and see the rest of the city. It does take a little bit of time to load the buildings, but it is rather worth it if you are the type of person that gets lost easily. It's very nice to have landmarks as well as um, buildings to see where you're heading. Urban Horizon will run on nearly all Windows Mobile 5 and greater devices. Points of interest are updated from Teleatlas, and the updates are free. Which some mapping software, such as Garmin, they charge you um, a, like per year. So if you wanted to upgrade the maps on Garmin, it, you'd have to buy the new maps every year. The program is priced from free for a 14-day trial, and it goes all the way up to $59.99 for a year subscription. And this is a service-based program but it's a lot cheaper than if you were to use like AT&T's Navigator. It'd be about half the cost if you um, bought a year subscription. And as you can see, this is the WVGA version, and it's not quite available yet to um, the general public, but I've talked to the developer, so hopefully it will be implemented for testing on other devices. And I'll post a link on pocketnow.com as to how to get this. Thanks for watching.